This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So this is the one more video on Cypress series. Today onwards, we will start writing the basic code with respect to Cypress. So without wasting our time, let me open my Visual Studio code. And uh, this is my folder. Under this particular folder, we have Cypress. And under this particular integration folder, I have created my test folder. Under that, we will, st we will start writing the number of JavaScript files over there. But before that, we have to open our Cypress. So how will you open that? So to open Cypress, please write npm run Cypress open because inside the package.json, this uh, thing is already written over here. If you don't want to use this, you can simply use npx cypress run also. You can, with npx package also, you can do that. I hope it's visible. And then you run it and let's see the cypress is getting opened or not. So yes, cypress is getting open. And uh, in my previous uh, video, I told you that, okay, for writing a good test case, you have to use it block describe before, before each something like this that you have to do that so i'll give you an example of this and today we will see a new con a new concept of cypress that is called a viewport how to open an application in a different viewports i want to open the same application let's see with the uh let's see iphone 6 or on some tablet or macbook 13 or macbook 15 how to do that how to take a screenshot so quickly i'll show you how to do that so let me uh close these guys i don't need them and I'll go to my this right click on it create a file and then simple write let's see viewport underscore test dot js okay now the first thing I'm gonna write my describe that okay uh, describe is let's see uh, testing different uh, viewports okay and this is a callback function guys that is just like a lambda function that you have to uh, write it so don't be confused that okay hey what do you mean by this this is the callback function you can write a function keyword also or you can simply write the lambda function this is just like a supplier so the same supplier will be given to okay over here so supplier means it does not uh, take anything as an input but it will give you some output over there that is the meaning of supplier in java 8 also we have already seen that so how to use that so how to create a simple uh i'll create one First of all, I told you that okay before method, so which will be executed for all before all the test cases. So let me write one before, and then I'll be writing uh, for before. It does not see if you see it directly takes the callback. It directly takes the lambda. It does not have any description about it. So what I'm going to do that okay, I'm directly going to create a lambda over here. So I'll simply write this like this, right, and then whatever you want to print over here let's say i want to print that uh, okay console.log although i don't have anything let's see console dot sorry console dot log that uh, running my test okay so let's see this is simple thing i have uh, written over here and console dot okay i'll do one thing I have to write a lambda over here like that okay now i'm going to write the actual thing that okay i want that okay before every test case before each method should be executed so before each i'll be writing again it, it will take a simple lambda and then like this i simply say that okay hey uh, cypress dot uh, visit what do you want to visit cypress please visit http colon any website let's see google.com site doesn't matter over here so we will open google.com in different viewports okay so open view open google.com before every test so okay we will open and then i'll keep changing my viewports so let's say i want to open this particular site and then i'll write my different test cases over here okay let me just like this i'll write my different test cases that uh, uh, open in macbook 13 how will you open that right and then i'll put a lambda and uh, i simply say that okay one method is there right cy dot viewport method is there over here and if you see this viewport in their api documentation you can open you can pass the width and height you can pass the preset and orientation width height option also you can pass this 
so let's say i want to open okay in macbook 3, 15 so there are different presets are available and that particular screen will be opened by default with width and height like that so if this is the preset string you just need to pass copy this we are running in macbook 13 so let's say a simple write viewport that is my viewport is macbook 13 and after that what i want after that i want to take a screenshot so please write uh, cy dot screenshot over here and then i after take the screenshot i want to wait for uh, let's say two seconds so i simply write 200 or 200 milliseconds not two seconds 200 milliseconds like that so similarly what will happen this particular test will be executed and automatically it will open in with macbook 13. it means the viewport like this macbook 13. okay it will be open like that and uh, now let's write some other tests macbook 15 if you want to write it so i simply take okay macbook uh, 15 viewport is available okay now uh, similarly we will uh, write some other let's say i want to write in uh, in some iphone viewport so we are not doing any guys remember one thing this is not mobile browser that we are opening inside the uh, inside the mobile we are writing just a viewport that on my browser on my laptop browser how exactly if you open the same google.com will be open in okay with iphone 6 or macbook 15 or whatever so let's say i say that okay for iphone x okay like this so how exactly it will look like in iphone x and then i simply say that uh, this is my iphone x string this is the main uh, preset that we have to pass let's write some other let's take something uh, let's see something like this that cy dot viewport open viewport in this 500 by 750 pixels and 750 pixels so if you really want to write it one more so let's write it and the viewport i'm writing this time this i just copy this guy and this is the viewport that i have set like that you can do that okay so likewise you can simple iphone 6 see they have written like this you can simple uh, do that any kind of viewport if you really want to open the viewport like this you can in that case also you can simply do that so okay so let's run this and let's see what happens so this is a file how many tests we have one two three uh, four four tests that we have written for every test we'll take the screenshot and we'll create one screenshot folder over here and it will be saved over there right and uh, before every test before each test google.com will be launched okay so let's see so i'll go to my cypress screen and here this file automatically should be displayed that you can see that viewport test.js and you simply click on it it should launch the browser and different viewports you will be seeing that so let's see see it's running in macbook 13 it will look like this in macbook 15 it will look like this then the next one is iphone okay and then i think we haven't changed the name over here so i think this is the viewport open in 550 and uh, 750 okay and then you see so again it got started now you can see that uh, the last one is open in 550 and 750 over here right and then what you do you can see that take the screenshot see automatically it took the screenshot like this you can open that see this is a screenshot okay for iphone i in iphone it will look like this iphone x like this okay now good thing is that guys that let me delete this uh, screenshot folder once again it will create automatically the good thing is that the moment i make any changes over here okay the moment i change the viewport or any changes in my script automatically this entire execution will start without running it <clears throat> by default it will start automatically from here because my server is still running okay so do you really want to see that i see at the moment i just copy this guy and you paste it over here see it got started automatically over here so you don't need to run it again and again it will start automatically you can see that now this 550 750 two times two tests are written having the same name you can see that moment you change that okay hey i want uh, 600 see then it will take one entry for 600 automatically you can see that 
it will execute with 600 and it will keep taking the screenshot also okay you can see that 600 with 750 so that is the good advantage the moment you made the changes automatically your it will be reflected in your execution and re execution will start once again this is the first thing if you really want to ignore that how will you do that i don't want to execute that okay because it's irritating sometimes the moment you make some changes and execution is happening over here although it's a very good feature provided by uh, cypress but what you can do that okay you can terminate the uh, okay terminate the cypress over here or you can simply right click on it quit the browser that's it now you made any changes it won't happen automatically if you made any changes let's say 600 800 now it won't happen because you, there is no browser is available there is no browser runner is available you have to click on it once again so let's click on it once again and then again it will start executing it okay and see this particular execution is happening in the terminal you can see that execution is happening in the terminal or you press ctrl c it means you simply shut down the node server press ctrl c shut down the node server and automatically your browser and cypress runner also both will be closed and you have to open it again once again so let's say sometimes cypress got hanged or something it's not responding in that case you can open it once terminate the server from here and open it again with the same command npx cypress open and it will open it again see it's opening it again and it's very very lightweight okay so that's a really good feature available with that so today what we have seen we have seen running opening the browser or opening the application in a different viewports like that this is called the concept of viewport you can read about viewport more and more about on this okay so thank you so much that's all for this particular video next session onward we will see some more and more interesting examples how to do a click send keys and there are other advantages how to handle different web elements and everything we will be seeing that so thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next session thanks